Constitutional Court on Friday dismissed an application for leave to appeal by Tony Pe Peter Mbepo Ramabulana which against a judgment which set aside the decision to appoint him as king of the Bavenda Traditional Council. Now instead the court ruled in favor of Masindi Clementine Mpepu who's a princess of the Bavenda royal family who had launched a cross appeal against the decision of the Supreme Court of Appeal in 2019. Now in April of 2019, the SCA found that former President Jacob Zuma's decision to appoint Mpepu Ramabulana as the acting king of Bavenda was illegal and unconstitutional. It stated that such a decision promoted gender discrimination. Joining us to discuss this legal battle is legal researcher and activist Petani Mazivandela. Very good morning to you, Petani. Thank you so much for your time. It's been a long matter. It, it really has taken its toll, perhaps, on, on those involved. W what are your thoughts around the position of the courts today? Uh, good morning, Paul, and good to see you um, at large. Uh, I will respond firstly to say that yeah, it's been quite a long time uh, since this battle ensured. Uh, specifically, starting from 2012, that's when the first uh, uh, court action started uh, to challenge um, uh, the throne. And after the decision, which was um, uh, uh, done by the former president, um, uh, Jacob Zuma, to uh, declare um, uh, Tony Ramaplana as, um, uh, as, uh, as the king of, uh, of the Wakanda nation. But uh, yesterday's uh, judgments are uh, pretty much uh, basically um, uh, confirmed what we have always known in Benla, that um, it, there is no uh, way in which uh, a person who's acting as, as a king or looming Benla could be uh, sworn in as the president of the country. So seemingly, um, what um, um, the SCA had judged in 2019 was that um, uh, the continued uh, stay of, of, of of uh, Tonyama Brana as the king of uh, as the king of Bavenda people at the time um, was unconstitutional and invalid. But uh, what uh, the SCA had had, had, uh, had done at the time was that uh, they declared it unconstitutional and and invalid, but they stayed the decision. Uh, so yesterday's uh, unanimous judgment by um, uh, Justice Kambembe uh, confirmed that uh, indeed uh, uh, the continued stay uh, of of um, of Tony of Tony Ramablana is uh, unconstitutional and invalid, but uh, there was no uh, legal uh, justification on why uh, the decision by the SCA was stayed. Uh, she also mentioned that uh, its continued stay um, in the throne uh, is therefore infringing uh, uh, the constitution in, in the sense that uh, it may take years for him to even vacate uh, the position of uh, acting as uh, as king regent. Uh, of the of the Bavenda nation and also consequently uh, prejudicing um, the rightful heir Queen Masindi. What do we know about um, you know uh, Masindi Mpepu? I mean, who who is she essentially, and how does she fall in, in into the the picture? Um, Masindi is um, is the daughter of uh, the uh, the late king of the of the of the Bavenda people. Uh, Chimanga the Dimanigan people, who was uh, the son of the um, uh, late uh, Bantustan leader PRM people. And uh, if one will trace her lineage, it will uh, it leads definitely to uh, to one of the best kings that we have ever had in Benda, uh, King Makado. And um, as as it stands right now, uh, she is the rightful heir to the throne of. Uh, of the of the Ravenda people, but also it is quite important to note that uh, this battle for legitimacy and who is the king does not only start or emanate only in the uh, in the people Ramaplana family only, but it starts with uh, uh, the contest that had happened before, which was judged by the Ntlapo Commission of 2009, uh, that declared the um, um, uh, the people Ramaplana family as the sole heir to the uh, to the throne, but. Uh, at the time, uh, there was an acting president or Ndumi who was um, uh, uh, who is, uh, who was, uh, is uh, uh, Tony Ramabrana, who was the one in, in the throne at the time. So there's been other contests from other families uh, that were claiming that they are uh, the rightful kings of the Bavenda people, even before we could go into the internal uh, 
uh, contestation that is happening in the Zipharama Blana family. But that was uh, adjudged by the um, tribal commission that uh, rightfully, uh, following the history of the Rwanda people, uh, the rightful uh, kings of the Rwanda people are from the Zipharama Blana lineage. So therefore, uh, following the, uh, the logic that was uh, um, followed in uh, in the Tlapo Commission, it was right that uh, the um, uh, the Peperama Brana family was, is the one that is supposed to be the king. Because if you read the judgments from yesterday, there was also <clears throat> another party uh, from the uh, Rawara that dynasty that also was uh, claiming to be uh, the kings of South Benda, but that was also dismissed uh, in favor of uh, the Peperama Brana family and ultimately in favor of uh, Queen Matinde. Now, the topic of gender equality has uh, come out very strongly here, especially considering what was said about the decision made by former President Jacob Zuma. What do you think this case now means, looking at um, the future of, of, of royal houses, not even Bavenda on their own, but uh, for the others? Uh, I mean, our people have always been very wise people. I mean. It, it's, it, it's not even difficult to just look at, uh, at the at the Bandawidi people who are actually our neighbors here in, in Benda, how they've always resolved their issues of of of, um, uh, of kings or queenship. And as we know that uh, the Bandawidi people are led by uh, by a woman, and therefore it is uh, as also in the judgment that uh, uh, Justice Kambepe mentioned that uh, it is the duty of the Royal Council or in Benda what we call Koream Tabatindi to develop customary law uh, that does not discriminate and it is also in line with the Constitution. And it is very clear that every, everyone knows that, uh, everyone who is interested in the issues of the throne in Benda knows that people's sentiments or other people who still hold patriarchal views are of the view that they cannot be led by a woman uh, who, is supposed, who is the rightful head to, uh, to do the thing. So that has been uh, part of the basis or part of the reason why she has been denied um, um, at the throne. And also some um, uh, flimsy arguments that were, that were also raised that uh, she, she, uh, she's not um, born of um, a candlelight wife or Magadu um, as we call it in Denver. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has also been adjudged also in, uh, I think there's a case in 2014 uh, regarding the, uh, the Abidi people where there was a contest of a son who was not born of a candlelight wife but uh and he was being denied his right to be uh, uh to be a king and uh, the court ruled in favor that despite uh, the fact that uh, his mother might not be a king like uh, uh wife he is uh, a, a, a rightful king so that, those are some of the arguments that are raised but uh critically and the most important one uh in 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 line with my it has always been that she's been denied to being uh to being the queen on the basis of the fact that she's a woman and that is the only basis that uh, that they have used. And uh, as I have said already that um, in the judgment, uh, Justice Kambembe uh, specifically mentioned that it is important that uh, the Royal Council or Koream Tawatsindi, as we know it in Bedla, has the duty and the right to develop customary law in line with the Constitution that it is not discriminatory on the basis of agenda only. Now, some um, really upset vendor traditional leaders have um, resolved to now pull out of the National House of Traditional Leaders, accusing it of, of undermining their culture, uh, speaking about the leaked information when it res res um, resulting to this case. What's your view on that and, you know, and the preservation of, of Bavenda customs? Uh, customs are made by people. Uh, customs don't make people. And customs always change with time. They always change with time. We make, we make culture. culture. Culture does not make people. So if any of these traditional leaders or uh, so-called kings and, uh, and uh, people who, who, who preserve cultures are speaking about pulling out from the traditional council uh, of the country, uh, specifically it means that they, have been, they, have been, they are left behind, they are lagging in terms of development of, of, of the law and, and time. Because their protest is solely on the basis that uh, she's a woman. And also, if uh, you uh, you look on onto onto the under the scene which was done by Korean Tawatindi or uh, the Royal Council at the time in 2010, it only it was supposed to include only people from the the Paramaplana family, but it also included other people who are not uh, part of that family. That's why also uh, uh, that's some of some of the reasons that uh, um, uh, uh, Justice Campbell also raised in, in that matter that no, it was not correct. Uh, for them to include all other these uh, all other traditional leaders 
who are not from that family. So them pulling out is, is a clear uh, indication of that uh, this continued caucus or mini caucus that has been anti Masindi for a very long time is also consolidating on, on the face that has been smacked uh, at, the, uh, at, the, at the High Court. And right now, um, the Royal Council has been uh, directed uh, seemingly that uh, they must uh, appoint um, um, a, a, a king or a queen or an acting queen uh, or, or an acting queen or, or king uh, in the vacant uh, in the vacant position as from yesterday's judgment. So it is quite clear that uh, the people who are claiming that uh, they are protecting uh, the customs and uh, the doings of life and that people are caught behind in time and they don't understand that we make culture, culture does not make people and it always evolves with time. So uh, they are kind of backwards and still caught in primitive thinking that a woman cannot be able to lead. Whereas we have seen uh, successfully with the vulnerable people mm -hmm. that uh, a woman has been leading them for ages and nothing has gone wrong there. So it's, it is just uh, backwards and patriarchal views which are which belong uh, specifically in the discipline of history. Well. Thank you so much uh, for that input, legal researcher and activist Patani Mazivindila, giving us uh, some overall view of what came out of the courts when it comes to the leadership here uh, over the vendor kingship. We, of course, now know that uh, uh, Princess Masindi Mpepu is uh, the rightful heir to the vendor throne instead of King Tony Mpepu Ramabulana. So that, of course, uh, rounding up the discussion there was uh, Patani telling us exactly what processes will follow.